So, we got a little update on the Joe Burrow injury and the T. Higgins injury. Now, the person giving us this update is not the Bengals. This is, of course, a sports MD analyst. So, pretty much he's a data-driven injury analyst, NFL, NBA, MLB, fantasy football, Stanford, Hartford, trained sports surgeon. So, he is actually a trained sports surgeon. Um, we've talked about this guy in the past. At the end of the day, can he 100% say you know, exactly what's wrong with somebody. Yes, he can. Can he know exactly how their body's going to recover? No, he cannot. Is he sitting down with Joe Burrow, T. Higgins? No, he is not. But what he does know is based on him being an actual trained sports surgeon, it's what the injury is, how long it takes to recover, how long it takes to heal, and all that kind of good stuff. So he gives a lot of good insight, and he is qualified in that way. Obviously, at the end of the day, again, he does not know 1,000% how the player is feeling because, you know, that really comes down to every single player is different, and obviously, every single player has their own, you know, feelings. So, starting off right away, for Joe Burrow, he said, expect uh, continued limitations week five, and this is because in week four, he got sacked three times, he had nine quarterback hits, and it's, he says right here, won't be able to drop back or escape pressure for two more weeks. And it is true. I mean again. We are not sitting Joe Burrow. We are keeping him out there. We are letting him take more and more and more hits. And it's just causing more and more problems. Right. Every single week it feels like. But at the same time. It's because we don't trust that Jake Browning could go in there. And win against the Titans. Or win against the. You know the Rams. Or win against the Cardinals. Or the Seahawks. We don't think he can do it. So. We're looking at a 50% Joe Burrow, who's already 50%, and every week he's taking these hits and getting hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt, worse and worse. He's going below 50%, but to the Bengals, that is better than going with 100% Jake Browning. That's why he's been playing all these games. Week one, you know, he, he obviously, he got hit a couple times week one, but overall wise, week one, you could tell there was problems. Week two, he re-aggravated his calf strain. Week three against the Rams, he obviously got hit a couple times, hit twice, and then he got sacked once by Aaron Donald. And then last week, he just got abused. And as long as we keep letting this happen, it's never going to heal, and we're going to be in the same spot we are in for the next upcoming weeks. But the problem is, right now, we're one in three. We got to win. We can't lose. So we're probably just going to keep throwing him out there and hope that things get better. And hope that we can do something. And after last week, we kind of got an idea. Well, sorry, two weeks ago against the Rams at this point. We had an idea that maybe our defense could win it for us. And then, defense came to light last week and absolutely got Molly Wobbs. So, it is what it is. Alright, so for T. Higgins, he says the injury going down the list here. Um, oh, there it is. T. Higgins has a rib fracture. It averages a two weeks injury, so two weeks out. He is going to be out in week five, and he may return in week six with numbering injections, which, of course, is 15% dip if active. Um, and, yeah, uh, th there's a lot of different medical, you know, things nowadays. Medical science has advanced so much that even a player has <laughs> as much as broken ribs, they can get shots, so they can get injections. That gets them back in the game. And they're not feeling the pain, right? They're not feeling all the problems. But the problem is, again, like any injury you have, no matter what it is, no matter it's calf strain, hamstring, you know, um, rib, fractured ribs, whatever. Any injury you have, if you do not let it heal, you're just causing more and more problems down the line. Because while you might have this injury right now, you're going to have more problems down the line if, you know, you don't get it figured out now. Be, uh, sorry, don't let it rest now. If you try to push him out there now and just say, oh, well, we can't we can't afford to, you know, rest them, then you're going to have bigger injuries down the line. And then you're going to wonder why there's problems down the line. It's because you didn't let the guy rest. You didn't let the guy heal. You know, injuries, in all honesty, a lot of injuries, they just, pro like, kind of project the future of more injuries that could pop up. So you have one injury, it's a problem, and now, bam, you have another injury. And it just, it all stems from one problem, right? You have a calf strain. Now, other things happen. ACL's in there too, right? PCL, ACL, MCL, all around there. 
your meniscus is right down around your ankle. So there's always problems that kind of stem from things, right? I'm not saying this is going to happen to T or happen to, obviously, you know, Joe Burrow. But it's why it's so scary to put a guy out there who's injured. Because you never know what's going to happen and continue to happen with all these problems. So um, he does go ahead and talk about Kenny Pickett. Video suggests most likely MCL, ACL, meniscus possible, MRI pending tomorrow. If M M CL, it averages two to four weeks. So they might not have the quarterback moving forward. And that means it will be, you know, obviously Mitch Trubisky. But we're in the same boat right now with the Bengals that we might not have our quarterback if we keep putting him out there to take hits like this. But it's a really rocky situation we're in, right? We got to win. We got to keep winning. And, you know, Joe doesn't, Joe's not going to get sat. I'll tell you that right now. He's not going to get sat. He does not care. You know, if he gets hit or if something happens, he wants to win. And it's a win winning competitive mentality, which you got to respect and, you know, give him his credit for. But it's a mentality that can also kill your season and destroy you as a player. So it's a interesting situation we find ourselves in. But with that being said, guys, I want to make this video talking about this because I thought it was interesting. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.